a warm welcome uh, as you all know university of kerala has notified its uh, application for phd entrance exam 2020 so i thought i will just brief the highlights of uh, what is the lgbt criteria uh, what is the fee structure who all are exempted and uh, how many subjects they have called for uh, they have called for 34 subjects in all and uh, they are made it clear this entrance exam is both for uh, full timers and part time phd the lgbt criteria they are telling you have to score 55 percent marks in your post graduation that is for general category students and for scst and obc students 50 percent is enough and even those students who are doing the final year pg even if their results are not out, even they are eligible to uh, apply for this entrance exam, provided they satisfy this 55% or 50% as whichever is applicable for you. And let's see who all are exempted from this exam. All MPhil holders are exempted from writing this exam. Only thing if you have done MPhil in one subject and you are planning to do PhD in another subject, then even you have to write this entrance exam. Then all UGC net JRF holders are exempted. Even select holders, that is the select which is recognized by UGC, select holders are also exempted. And then for biotechnology people, DBT, JRF, they are exempted. For Inspire Fellowship holders, uh, DST, uh, JRF, they are exempted. And then awardees of ICMR, SRF, they are exempted and then scientists working in uh, central or state institutions or even autonomous institutions uh, they are exempted provided they have seven years of experience as a scientist and uh, uh, provided they have published two research papers uh, both approved by the board of studies and college teachers uh, that, that is the colleges coming under the University of Kerala, affiliated to the University of Kerala. Both government and uh, this thing, aided college sector teachers with seven or more years of experience, they are exempted from writing this entrance exam. So all these category are exempted from writing this entrance exam. Uh, now let's move on to the fee structure. The fee structure, the, it's for general category students, it's 1,075 rupees. And for SCST candidates, they have put 550 rupees as the fee. And you can remit the fees on the Kerala University online payment mode or uh, Kerala University Chalan Center, you can remit. Or you can take demand draft in SBI or district cooperative banks these two options they are given for dd and for dd uh, obviously it should be in favor of the finance officer university of kerala Tirundiram. and for dd they are telling 10 rupees extra service charge will be needed that is the general category students 1075 will become 1085 rupees and for scst students it will become 560 that is the fee structure and then uh, they have made it clear the whole application is purely online. No offline applications will be entertained. So after uh, filling the form, you have to take the printout of that application form and you have to paste your photograph. The photograph should be duly attested by a gazetted officer. And the supporting doc documents, you have to uh, put copies of your post-graduation degree certificate along with post-graduation mark list both should be duly attested by a gazetted officer for those pg students who are in the final year they should uh, submit the copy of their hall ticket duly attested by a gazetted officer and uh, obviously uh, scst students should submit their community certificate and obc candidates should submit their non criminal certificate Differently able candidates should submit the certificate they get from their medical board. So these are the supporting documents you have to submit. And all these applications should reach the University of Kerala, uh, Trivandrum, uh, address to the registrar. To the registrar, University of Kerala, Tirundaram, uh, on or before March 10. 
2020 5 pm but the online mode will be closed by february 29 5 pm that is 2020 so uh, better not make a delay the online mode will be closed by february 29 last day of the month of february 29 5 pm and then the printout and all the supporting documents you have to submit by march 10 5 pm to the registrar the dd should be taken to the finance officer and about the exam they are telling it will be two papers like one will be general aptitude test and the other will be your subject concerned the first paper will be carrying 50 marks the second paper also will be carrying 50 marks so in all the whole exam will be 100 marks but for qualifying you have to acquire 50 percent of marks in both papers like first paper also you have to acquire 50 percent marks second paper also minimum 50 percent marks you have to acquire and your second paper it will be your post graduation syllabus along with your research aptitude previous year question papers are available in the website of university of kerala so you can better go through uh, go through the previous question paper and see they are making it clear even if you pass this entrance exam and if anything faulty is found in your application they won't issue a pass memo so better be careful while applying uh, for while doing the online application be very careful and then passing in this entrance exam doesn't mean that you will be naturally automatically registered for a phd program under the university of kerala no uh, they are telling uh, they will call for uh, applications for registration of PhD later. Most probably it will be in the month of June or somewhere like that. Uh, it, that will be according to the availability of the vacancy of research guides. So in short, passing in this entrance exam doesn't mean that you are automatically enrolled in a PhD program. But then we, we should be optimistic and uh, as soon as you enter the uh, apply for this entrance exam you make a big uh, better preparation for your uh, phd synopsis that will be needed for applying for registration of phd so as soon as you clear this entrance uh, the next step is you have to be worried about your synopsis so better be prepared for the title the topic and the synopsis and submit the whole uh, hard copy before march 10 5 pm that is to the registrar University of Kerala, Trivandrum. So better not make a delay. Don't wait for the last day. Uh, give all the, submit all the application. And next step is prepare for your uh, synopsis. That should be a complete one. Uh, so that uh, you your synopsis will be approved. No one will reject your synopsis. So once again, uh, best of luck for those who are appearing for this entrance exam. Anyway, I am uh, uploading the notification uh, of this uh, university, Kerala University notification. Uh, you have to go through it personally uh, before applying. I have just briefed the highlights, but still, uh, since it's a very important application, before filling the application form, you please go through the uh, notification by yourself. Uh, and then, uh, as I have earlier told, 34 subjects only they have called for applications you also go through that whether your subject is there mm -hmm. and the uh, previous question papers is available in the website you have a look at it thank you